how you guys doing? This week is a vlog. I haven't done this in a quite a while. I think the last one I did was even in 2020. I've tried to like vlog and stuff, but it always ended up in shambles, so I really felt bad. Um, but this week I'm really going to try and make an effort to fill up the whole week though. So this week on Monday and Tuesday, we actually have a costume workshop in another place. So I will be going up to the 8th arrondissement. This week is pretty exciting, so I kind of wanted to um, take you guys along with me to, to document a little bit of what's happening this week. So let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Fresh baked croissants. Mm. Is it plus un croissant? Mm. <laughs> so plus sec, no? Bah, le croissant. Hein? I used to drink so much coffee in the morning, like every day, mm. when I was in high school. Ah, you? Mm -hmm. You actually made me change to tea. Yeah, tea is better. I guess, but there's still caffeine. It's the tea. Mm? It's the tea. Am I the weird one who eats croissants like this? No, I picked them. Was the one a very dirty way of eating it? You eat dirty croissants. I don't want to go like, mm -mm, like a sandwich. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What kind of it? It's, oh. what? it's uh, 8 13. And yes, I was a little bit late, but it's fine. We arrived at the costume design section of the National Academy of Dramatic Arts, where we will be for two days for our costume workshop. It's separated from the actual school, so we didn't get a tour of the school until the next day. We had to think of costumes that we wanted to have for our own scenography projects that we have at the moment. We are doing the play Uncle Vanya, and mine looked like this. Don't hate, I'm not a fashion student. We also found these funny headpieces since it was an actual workplace to make costumes for the students there. We made a little photo studio with the lights we brought from our school and took turns modeling each other's characters. For the first day, only one group was able to shoot, and there is Romain, our favorite model. <laughs> Then I got back home and tried out the famous Gigi Hadid pasta with my boyfriend Alex. Pretty nice with pasta. 
Our main threads in day, so... After dinner, we have a little work session together. Alex is coding and I'm trying to catch up with some stuff for my project. It really feels like we're polar opposites. These days, I'm having a little bit of an artist block where I feel like my set design is missing something, but I can't figure out what. It just feels as if I'm not understanding the whole play Uncle Vanya and everywhere I look my sonography has a void. So I'm really desperate to fix that these past few weeks. And we finished the day off with a French movie that was mentioned earlier that day, The City of Lost Children. So I'm back from my workshop and today we finally got a tour of the school. They have rehearsal rooms and a huge classical theater that really looked so cool. telles époques on euh, trouve et en haut c'est plutôt euh, contemporain et militaire euh, et qui euh... oui, c'est faux We went to the costume stock room to pick out two costumes and mine are like this And on my beautiful models they look like this I actually wanted to have a poetic approach to the costumes to sew the characteristics of each character into the costumes. Originally, I wanted to put moss on the shoulders of Luen, but since there weren't enough materials equipped, the only shades of green we found were these scraps. I really was not happy with the outcome, but I think I'll probably photoshop it later. And it was also my turn to model for my friend, and I officially claimed the beginning of my modeling career. <laughs> wow. It's the next day, and I have a sound class in the morning. It's basically a class where we listen to some contemporary pieces of sound, but not music per se, for 30 to even sometimes an hour. Then we start working on our own projects.
The weather was so nice, and I was so excited to go to a Korean hair salon for the first time living in Paris. I'm back with my new hair. Look, it's all purple here. I don't know if you can see it because the lighting is kind of shit. I know it's uh, it's the evening, but look at my hair. I look like a K-pop star. I swear to God, it is so, so pretty. Really love how this turned out. Like, honestly, like it doesn't really look that bad. Like, it looks amazing. Um, from the back, you don't really see much of the purple, so I can hide it, but if I tie my hair up, but if I tie my hair up, it looks like that. Like that. I have like a little purple. <laughs> so adorable. I'm mm. going to keep this for the rest of my life. So Today is Friday. I skipped Thursday because I was just stuck at home with only online classes. So no fun in that. In the morning, I have a black and white photography class in the underground. And my friend Vanessa wanted to take a picture of my dress because it was really shiny under the light. We also had to reload the film in the dark because the one before was stuck in the thing. Uh, I don't know how to say, but um, it's stuck in the cartridge, I guess. So yeah, um, we have to do that again. That's the dark room where you have to load the film. <laughs> so after that, I took some lunch and came back up to my painting class. I'm starting from scratch because someone stole my painting that I started last week. And there have been some thefts lately at school where some canvases or even laptops go missing. My painting was on a thick cardboard, so it didn't really take long to set up. And besides, my first one was almost all white, so I wasn't too mad about it. <laughs> For this painting, I wanted it to be a little bit intuitive, not knowing exactly what I'm going to paint and how it's going to turn out. I rarely try out abstract painting, but I'm trying to loosen myself up a bit these days. It's actually really therapeutic to see someone paint. Maybe I should really make a paint with me content or even ASMR. Let me know down in the comments if you want something like that. <laughs> So these little blobs are supposed to be islands, but I feel like they're too rigid and I don't want to add details, so I'm trying to find a way to fix that. I'm adding some background to it, some navy blue. <laughs> I thought it could be interesting to rub out the edges with the cloth to give it a little bit of a glowy vibe, 
like when you're too drunk to see or when you're crying too much I don't know you choose And then I'm brushing over the edges more and more to make them a little bit gooier, melting figures that aren't really islands anymore. Maybe they look like floating lights now, but honestly, I'm very happy with the outcome and can't wait to continue more. And I finally end my week by going through the Jardin de Luxembourg and that is it for this video. Hope you liked it and see you in the next one. Bye!